Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so last time we were playing, we had just kind of started cutting down in this a gully here. And uh, we were trying to pull it up here. So uh, recently the 1.4 patch came out for Giants, which completely destroyed a whole bunch of uh, things on my machines. Um, so I went back and revisited them and fixed up a whole bunch of stuff. I was able to get things working even better than before, so... As sad as it was to see 1.4 kill a bunch of stuff, it actually made things better for us because I found a way to fix some stuff. So, worked out pretty good. So, uh, one thing that I did do is I extended the uh, the line on the winch here, so you can pull a little bit further than before. I had it set; you could only pull from about here to like maybe here. And after watching a few videos, I found that was uh, pretty unrealistic. So. I was like, hey, maybe we should uh, put an actual distance on that line that's kind of realistic. So uh, I've seen them pull really far distances. I don't know. We might have it unrealistically set. I'm going to just test it to see how far. I don't think we can go this far. Oh, we can go that far. Okay, so that might be slightly unrealistic. Oh, hey, does that actually bend? Look at that thing. It bends around. Unless I'm losing my mind. It looks like it bends. Wow. Check that out. So it goes down. And it bends up and around. Oh my goodness. I wonder how they did that. Remember in the old game, it would just go through everything. See, it even bend around the tree. That's so strange. Well, there's something I didn't know, hey? So you can you can, <laughs> you can can uh, loop the, the winch around corners. That's uh, very interesting. Okay, so let's, let's undo this one. So one cool thing that I found uh, with this winch, and again, this is 50 Kata who made this winch set up. It's just... Absolutely stunning, amazing thing. It was so nice to be able to implement this on the machines. So you can turn your machine on. Uh, we're going to switch over to my thingy here, and we want to turn the winch on. So there we go. The winch is revved up, the machine's revved up, ready to rock. So let's maybe go park this a little higher up the hill and get the ones that are closest, and we'll just drag them right up here. I'm going to move that buncher too. So let's see, we're going to do some, some freehand rocking here. Because I really want to see what we can accomplish. There we go. Oh, my joystick's died on me. That's kind of a weird thing that's happening to me. It seems to be with save games uh, from after I did the 1.4 patch. For some reason, I just got to turn my joysticks, or my uh, my hub for my joysticks on and then off again. And then they fire up just fine, so. All right, so let's park our buncher kind of just off in the toolies here. We don't really need to worry about that. And let's uh, let's try some winching. This could be fun. So let's start at the top. Uh, those ones will pull up just because this is the line here. So let's start at the top. So now all I have to do is actually hold Z, and it'll pull it up, I think, in theory. Yeah. We kind of want to pull it up to about there, I guess. Which is cool because I can be outside and remotely operating it. I think that's pretty neat. There we go. Boop. I mean, you could go down there and drive it up, too, if you really wanted to. Your call, but this is pretty neat doing this, too. So I'm just going to lay these right about... Let's back this guy up here, too. Since we're pulling from that side, we're going to have to make a little bit of a, a funkier landing, I think. There we go. I was kind of laying them in that side, but I think we're going to have to pull them through this way. Just so enough of it's actually sitting on the landing. Let's do worry about there. Pretty cool. So yeah, the uh, it's the 50 Kata guy who made all the uh, winch stuff, and holy, does it make a difference? See, now I don't have to drive all the way down there because this thing will probably start to slide if I go down there too far. So why don't we hook it up? Why don't we? Why don't we do? Can I do two? I think that's too long of a distance. Oh no, we can do it. Just to uh, get things rolling here. I kind of edited the uh, the pull on it, so it's a little bit faster. And actually, if you hold down shift, it makes it go super slow. So, for instance, if you're doing, like, a really fine job, like, really close work, um, you could do that. Let's go through here. So, we got the one up there, and the second one's not too much further behind. The cool part is, so I can bring this one to here, detach all. Then, I can just run up to this one that's a little bit too far back. Push Z and watch it sneak right up alongside the other one. Pretty cool, eh? 
Probably gonna have to build a yarder now because this new winch system is so darn good that um, I could definitely work a yarder into this process somehow. So I don't know whether I want to do a yarder per se with an actual car because I found some really dramatic uh, balance issues last time we did that on the previous game and I'd see the exact same thing again. So instead what I might do is make a version of this machine but that has a cable distance that's like crazy long for hooking up uh, loads and stuff like across the map long. Uh, is there anything close here? Oh, this one's closer in here. So we'll grab that one and we'll grab that one. There we go. Watch you don't hit the stumps there. Good enough. And then I just like to do this just to keep everything nice and even. There we go. And you can either detach it or get in the machine do it. So let's turn this sucker around. I'm going to push all this stuff back here. Push it all back into the corner. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting piece of terrain, isn't it? <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was interesting. Oops. Sometimes we get too close, too close to one side. So I've also started doing some time lapse videos. So what I do now, um, I'll live stream my just me playing. So I'll just be like you know, doing my regular thing, playing some music and stuff, which I'm sure I'll get some copyright strikes for. Um, so what I do is I play that, I record it while I'm playing it, the chat's open, people can talk, come in, hang out, do whatever. Um, there's no set times, I just kind of do it randomly when I get time to do it. And then I turn those into time-lapse videos, uh, which I have, the series is starting on, well it'll be... When is this video coming out? This video should be on Friday, if all goes right in the world. So it should be on Monday. Tuesday will be the first episode. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be the time-lapse ones. So that's uh, kind of how I have it set right now. But yeah, everybody really liked the time-lapse portions um, of these single-player, or these uh, Logging From Scratch single-player episodes. But it was a pain in the butt to uh, try to edit all that and separate it. It's not so bad editing it uh, as one video, like if I just take a clip and speed it up and then put the stuff in. To make it a 4K clip, it takes a lot of uh, encoding time, which is fine because I can just do it real quick, but on the single player ones, I have to cut them up into little pieces and try to wiggle it around and it takes a long time. And unfortunately, I just, uh, because this isn't a full-time job, I don't have the time to do that. But I do have the time once in a while to do a time-lapse video. And when I do those, that actually works out pretty good, so. Uh, maybe we'll grab... Uh, let's grab a couple here. Maybe we'll do three just to be different. Uno, dos. I don't know if I can reach this one. We could try, though. Trays. Oh, we can reach these. My goodness. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll try it out. Go, Bruno. Go. There we go. Oh, that's a tough pull, hey? Oh, well, we got it, though. Here it comes. I think making a machine like a yarder-shaped machine that just has a winch point just like this one at the top of the bucket or something, that would be actually pretty ideal. So, that might happen. I need to get a model for a, uh, for a yarder, though, before I can do that. I might use, like, a crane or something. Uh, I'll take a look and see what, see what's out there. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess we'll pull this one up first. And then there should be a couple more back here. I'll just pull both of those at the same time. Whoops, just pulling that one ahead. Oh no. Why did it do that? <laughs> I must have slowed that one hooked up. My bad. Go, little winch, go. And just connect 
that one and pull that one up. Man, it's like sport. Probably push this one back. Oops. Or not. Because the back sits a little too high. There we go. That's better. So we go whip around this side. And we should be able to get that bucket low enough to just push those right out of my way here. Oh, actually, let's push it a little higher up. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't like having that blade down on that particular type of incline for whatever reason. There we go. Bingo. Close enough to bingo. Let's whip these trees out of here, too, just for fun. So we're going to get you... Oh, you're way up here. So you, and you, and you. Come up on top. The price is right. So we bounce it off that stump there. Oh, yeah, it works. I'm waiting for one to dead end head on with one of those stumps and just make it really hard to work with. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen. If not certain. Pull this guy up here. That looks good. And where'd the little one go? Somewhere back here. There you are. Come here, little friend. Join the others. So this is one way to do it. It's a little, definitely a little more accurate than a skitter. Sort of, kind of. What I could do, I guess I could put that on the back of a skitter. That's definitely a possibility. Probably something we'll have to do down the road. Still got a few projects coming down the pipe here, so it should be good. Yeah, let's just slam that down there. Good enough. All right, I think we only got a couple more down there, and then we should uh, pretty much have it cleaned up, eh? I don't know how many we did. Look <laughs> at all these high stumps, say, hey, from when we were uh, being lumberjacks and such. Woo, slippery. That's what I meant by it. I figured it would just slide if we go down too far. I mean, that's pretty steep, man. Pretty darn steep there. Uh, so let's, let's try this. See what happens, I guess. So let's hook that one. Bending around the corner. And let's hook that one. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get it up to the back end here. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Ooh. Gonna have to put some, some track power into this. It's pulling me back down the hill here. There we go. Now oh, she's coming. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Get up here. Get over here. I guess we need a uh, we'll need a screenshot for this one too. So let's. Uh, I was trying to think about a way to get that. Uh, let's go like this. Whoop! There we go. Quick shot. Nailed it. All right. Let's drag all this crap back up the hill here and see what we can accomplish. Wow, my frame rate is just. Jumping all over the place there. I don't know what's going on with that. It's actually only been really doing that since that uh, since that update. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of a graphical setting I need to change. Oh my goodness, I can't see anything in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Bingo, got her. Uh, whatever. Okay, so uh, that's all lined up. So why don't we park this bad boy right over here for now. And actually, let's go for a quick little adventure here. Because I want to kind of determine what we want to do. What we could do is walk alongside with the um, feller buncher and just drop these trees into the gully. Man, it'll be frustrating. I bet you guys are uh, excited to get... Actually, if this one... God, I want to look at my calendar. i got to look at my calendar. Hold on. Hang tight, boys. I want to make sure this one is coming out on Friday, because I think it is. I can never remember my episodes the way they come out here. 
So second. So this will be the third episode. Yeah, so it comes out on the 28th, which is Friday, meaning tomorrow, which is the 29th, you guys will be getting um, this dozer, winch dozer. So I think you guys are going to love that. Um, I, I can totally understand you guys are probably super frustrated trying to use the skitter on terrains like this. I don't even know how you're doing it if you're doing it. Or you're probably using a variation of that winch. So um, once that comes out, I think you guys will be just laughing. You'll be able to pull up as many trees as you want on this map. So uh, anyway, so we're making our plan here for what we want to do. So this gully. Oh, there's one more tree down there. Look at that. I didn't even see you. There's two more trees. I don't think we can winch that far. That's pretty distancy. Yeah, it's a little too far. So, um, I mean, we could keep cutting into this valley as low as we want to go. I mean, look at it. it kind of just keeps going here. I think we get to the point where a skitter really, or a uh, dozer wouldn't really cut it. I think this kind of just dead ends at the end of the map edge here. It's the end of the world as we know it. Yep. This is it. That's the end. I always love map terrains. It's hard to make a decent map terrain. You usually have to surround it with water or mountains so high that you can't get around them. But So we could make it our mission to go down this trail and clean it up. But, God, that sounds really frustrating. So let's go on to somewhere else <laughs> or some other part of this. I wish I could just bunch them together. That'd be handy. But as you saw, they don't all land really nicely together there. So that might make it a little tricky. But the question is, what can we accomplish with what we got? What can we do? Uh, da -da 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 oh. Uh, where am I? Oh, here we are. So, there's lots on the road we could kill. That'd probably be a, a thing to do. It's easy. Uh, oh, we could go up this hill. That's actually maybe what I'll do with the feller, is I will just start plowing into this side here. So creep up in here. It's not going to be easy. It's all rough going terrain, but I think uh, I think we could probably do all right in here. What do you guys think? Should we try it? Well, we're not going to have enough time to get started on this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this buncher and we're going to bring it over here and get it in the ready position. So in the auto get in the auto event, I forget what I was doing when I first started. Um, we'll know where we're beginning <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh man, this terrain's gonna be bad, I can tell already. Things like, dude, do you even know? What did I just run over? Didn't even look like a stump was there. Maybe there was. So we'll park this bad bay over here. Actually, we may even take a chop at the first tree here. Let's fire up the gun here and see what we can accomplish. The problem is I don't really want to lay it, like this gully right here is like perfect for laying trees, but if I lay them in there, I'm going to kind of screw myself over for for getting out of there. So maybe what we'll do is we're going to knock this one out here. There we go. Oh. I think we'll just create our own little hole basically to throw all these trees in. Let's call this area the tree hole. It sounds kind of inappropriate, but we're going to go with that into the tree hole. Okay, now I have no idea where the edge of that tree is. Let's try this view. Oh, we get it. Must have got it. That was totally a blind shot in the dark trying to get the tree, so I'm glad that worked out. So yeah, this is going to be this will be our project area. I like this. I'm just setting these up. Oops. Oh good lord. I'm probably going to have to... Eh. I'm going to take this tree out, too, because it's just irritating me. There we go. There we go. And we'll just curb lamia you in here, buddy. That way, when I hook it, I can just drag them all over. It'll be easy. <laughs> I always say that. It'll be so easy. It'll be, like, so simple. Maybe not quite so much. But we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this guy off. I think this hill might be fun. Like, look at that! Look at that angle. That's ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna go hike up this guy. Do 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 do. We'll knock these guys off. And yeah, I don't really know. It's gonna be frustrating as all hell. Thanks a lot, Chad, for making the frustrating map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can accomplish this one, um, 
I think you're pretty well set. Uh, I don't really know what the plan is for cutting it out here. Let's, uh, oh yeah, it's good we save, hey? Let's see, where are we? We are up here. So we just parked our buncher in here. So basically we could go cut this round out. We should make that our plan, to cut out this round spot. It sounds pretty realistic. And I think we did this valley. This is where we're cutting right now. Just cut this little piece out here. Doot, doot, doot. And then we cut this and kind of go into here. That's what I'm thinking. And maybe depending how shitty the train is, maybe we'll go along the top here. There's a lot of good trees down in here, though. That's for sure. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, when we come back in the next one, I guess what will have to happen is we'll have to start bunching in the hole and see what we can create for uh, pulling some trees out. So... Yeah. If you guys uh, like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys. Oh, and don't forget uh, that the dozer comes out tomorrow. So be excited. Be, be excited. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.